Alright, so hello viewers, and welcome back to Spacecom Tactical Command. I'm your host, Pupujuchu, and welcome to episode 2 of this Let's Try series for the game. I'm back with Cokeline slash Gladstone Gander on Steam, and today we're playing another match, um, a medium-sized match this time, something a little bit more competitive and, uh, well, less casual there. And, well, we're playing the map Crystal Nebula. It's one of the four uh, of the, uh, the, the, the two-player match maps available for the game. This one is going to be, uh, I'd say, a slight, slightly larger map. Um, apparently, this map is uh, is good for hit and run tactics. So uh, we'll see what we can do. Uh, what we can do there. Anyhow, um, I think both of us are ready for the game. So we'll launch this and we'll go for a more so of a faster paced map and things uh, rather such a thing like that. Um, checking out we what we have. Um, this time, our capital, of course, marked by the star, is Horizon. We have Alpha Resource Planet, Titan, a uh, a little cog planet, meaning that it is a manufactory planet, and we uh, yeah we also we just pretty much have that. So um, checking out this map, uh, looks like there's a few of these say um, non-producing planets here and there. Then those are more or less just there just because really. So they seem to be buffer zones there. Looks like we have uh, one of those re uh, repairing shipyard things back here and inside the middle of the map. This one is actually yeah quite large compared to our last one. There's this uh, middle zone of various uh, manufactories, neutral planets, and things. So this is where the game really opens up, and this is where the uh, the the thinking portion comes into play. So um, starting off, let's get our battle fleets here, and I'm gonna march him somewhere, um, and I'm gonna see whether or not we can perhaps pick out some more uh, intel about what's going on over here with our invasion fleets. I'm going to send them off here. This might be um, slightly risky because there might be some defenders here, some um, fleet-based defenders rather than ground defenders, but I'm going to see whether or not we can take a nice uh, and easy f um, another resource planet right off the bat, and I think we'll queue in a few more fleets. So overall, there is that, and let's just uh, yeah, pretty much get the show on the road and see whether or not we can score victory number two. Right, so um, <laughs> he is, uh, yeah, there's that. Huh. Oh, would you look at that? There is a neutral battle station over here in Nexus Alpha. Ooh. So that is apparently a passive uh, defending structure. So I'm going to see whether or not we can perhaps retreat from this battle. Looks like the neutrals might put up quite a fight here. And inside this area, I think we'll invade this planet, we'll capture it. And would you look at that, there was actually only one defender there, so hopefully this invasion fleet will win to uh, at a very fast rate, and then we can just pull them back out. Right, so this battle is going to start, we're going to pull them back, because that battle station has uh, 15 condition conditions to health points inside the game, as um, some of you guys may have noticed. And, well, it is actually uh, doing quite a lot of damage to my fleets right now. So, um, as you can see here, I mean, once the movements are keyed in, the there's, there's, there's not, say, a terribly easy way to take them, um, take them back there. All right, so we have this area under control. I'm going to get some of the uh, the combat fleets here, if you will, rather than invasion fleets here, to move to a new sector. And I'm going to drop off a slight detachment to just uh, garrison the planet to keep it safe, of course. And um, that'll be a, uh, a source of, of course, people for our, um, for our manufactory over here. I think I'll just select all of these guys, checking out um, what planets might be valuable. And I see that uh, over inside this area, we have a, a one of those mechanic repair shops, and we also have Alpha 3C, which is a nice planet for um, for just supply. So I think we'll get some of our guys to move inside that direction. Right, so that's just going to passively happen. Resources are going to pour in here. And would you look at that? That is another one of these invasion fleets prep. I think I'll send them down here, and I think I'll see about uh, perhaps capping some of these neutral zones, because when moving from friendly territory, you get this nice movement uh, speed bonus, which is just, you know, one of those considerations that you want to factor into, uh, say, how you want to, uh, well, how you want to play the game, really. So yeah, very simplistic um, design choices here and there, but uh, ultimately, I mean, they do, of course, matter to a fair extent here. Alright, so I think our ship queue will need a few more things just like that. 
and uh, hopefully those will be ready. So this might be um, be a bit down to the to the to the random number generator here. Oh, actually, never mind. It has a zero percent chance of success. So in that case, I think we'll wait before we try to invade, say, Epsilon Arandi over here. But uh, usually, when you have one reef one, uh, or rather one one fleet going up against one defender, it's uh, has a tendency to be just down to a down to a random dice throw there. Either way, though, that works out. In fact, in that situation, I might as well send these guys over here to Alpha Epsilon and um, see whether or not we can perhaps help them out in their push there. Then, of course, inside this area, we might want to make the decision that, uh, say, should we start the invasion right now and run the risk of losing? Or should we wait for all of these guys to show up but uh, waste some seconds doing that? So again, lots and lots of decisions here and there for the uh, for the game. And my phone just died. Hmm. So that is that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's a very slow game, though. I mean, I haven't even seen our opponents yet. So we don't know what's going on over there. We don't have intel in um, the sectors that we don't have anything posted in, as you may have noticed there. So let's get our battle fleet here. Let's do, let's do a bit of a, a probe. And let's send them over there. Right, so right here. What I think I'll be able to do now is that I'll be able to start the fight. These support fleets should join in, and we'll be able to add them in, and we should be able to buff up our uh, combat potential. So, let's see. And there we go. So, there. Get all of these guys to join in. Now they should have a very good chance of in, in winning. That's not what I wanted them to do. And would you look at that? We managed to gain control here. So the fighting's finishing, so that's good. And that'll be the end of that. Oh, and would you look... Look at all the green areas over here, so coal, rubble, and Eta Centauri seems to be occupied, right? So in that case, I think I'll post our fleet here as a uh, bit of a, yeah, as a bit of a listener type of thing. And we'll just keep them there for now. Let's get, uh, let's get a few of these fleets right here. If we move to Alpha 3C, we'll get the wounded one to stay back for now. And back inside our shipyard, let's produce... Let's produce a few more battle fleets and afterwards let's get two siege fleets out so that we can have some muscle to uh, to throw about here. Hmm. And would you look at that, this time we have some um, some high condition ground troops so they'll help out. And right here I'm going to unload some, um, some defenders to defend our newly founded place. Ooh, yikes. Looks like some of the dice rolls aren't um, terribly in our favor. We're taking some damage here on our veteran troops. But you never know, this might switch back into uh, our favor here shortly. Yeah, there you go. And perfect, fighting's finished. Hmm. Oh, I see an enemy task force. Well, in that case, let's get our guys to flee back. Let's get them to uh, to run back here. We have a nice uh, remaining fleet limit open. And we'll see what we can do about uh, perhaps building some reserves over here. I'm going to garrison this plant with a ton of uh, other ships because I'm not terribly sure about the situation there. And let's see, an enemy force near Ergo. Ooh. Hmm. Inside this area in Alpha 3C, one of the things that I, um, 
forgot to consider was the fact that these uh, these extractors inside these areas, I believe they only send them a certain length away. So with that said, in Alpha 3, I think we'll get them to just gradually build up the, uh, the different defenders near them, seeing as how currently they can't really supply too much around them. Though that'll change later on if we can grab this uh, supply area, or um, not supply area, but the, the shipyard there. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe they can supply from, from a very large distance away. Because they can supply from Alpha over here, yet oddly enough, Alpha 3C isn't, um, isn't fronting the stuff to the shipyard. So that's kind of weird, but alright. Right, so there we go, we're building up a nice pool of ships. And one of the things that I uh, I don't know about is whether or not these, um, say, for example, if I blow up a planet or, you know, a group of planets here, whether or not that would, uh, or moving through that area would, st I, I don't know if moving through that area would actually slow ships down at that point. It'd be something that would be very useful to figure out, though, so we might, uh, we might look into that perhaps later on. But for now, we'll get that, uh, we'll get something made here to defend Alpha 3C. And over here in Titan, we are still front in production, so that's good. Get a few things like that set up. And with our major fleet, let's try to make a few movements here and see what we can do there. And inside this area, what I think I'll do is that I'll get, uh, get some more ground troops made here. Let them passively do that. Oh, and I see. You can't uh, once you once you plug down the defensive troops, you can't actually take them out. So that's also, yeah, one consideration there. And we might want to make a rally point for our uh, fleets, like something like that. So, um, don't want to say too much because our lovely ally here, or enemy here, is indeed listening in to us. But what I'm well, thinking about it, I may or may not do uh, some things inside this area right here. And using some of our other things, we might do some things here. Just being, just being completely vague here. <laughs> Ooh, and would you look at that? You can steal resources too, so I think we'll siphon off some stuff from uh, Eta Centauri here, or something that we haven't tried so before. Not nice. Huh? That's it's not nice. Hey, would you look at that? That is actually an entire stream of stuff. I did not know about that. So that is very useful because that is, oddly enough, bounding to my shipyard, whereas my, uh, as you may have heard me talk, the little. Um, planet there for whatever reason didn't give me stuff uh, but one thing that you do have to consider is that your ships do indeed take attrition damage in locations so I think what we'll do here is that we'll take your uh, I think I'll take a resource dump here you're gonna bring in your uh, your fleet here of ooh battle fleets I'm gonna get out of here and I'm gonna bail out so um, let's go let's go back home thanks for the resources though I mean you're helping me build my battle fleet Oh no. You're gonna come back here to uh to Eta Centauri. Hmm. It's a shame though, you can't walk through the middle of the uh of the map because it is currently defended. Speaking of defenses, it would be very, very viable to uh, to set up a few. Hmm, to set up a defensive line here in some of these areas. Right. So with our main battle fleet taking some da ta ha having taken some damage, I'm going to send them back to that re to that. Uh, 
the mechanic thing to uh, to get them to to go back to a to a more functional state. I guess is one way to think about it. Ah, uh, it might just be the graphics aren't necessarily displaying um, every single time is uh, is the thing there with these resource planets. So, hmm, what should I do? And there we go, our fleet is being repaired right now. That's going to take some time, but that should be, uh, yeah, that should be going underway. Nice and lovely light. Ooh. Yeah, see so your invasion fleet there going to Eta Centauri. Are you going to claim the back? Yeah, no, yeah. Oh, yes, I will. Go for it. There you go. Hmm. What I want to do here is that I want to use this fleet and perhaps want to go into these areas right here. Checking out this map, there are uh, there's actually quite a few good choke point uh, locations here as well, and we might be able to work into. We'll see though. We'll see. Ooh, yikes! Didn't mean to do that. No, nope, that's just because we had yeah, not too great intel here. Really hope both of these guys make it. Yes, they do. And would you look at that? They're back on their way. Hmm. Probably want to get an escort fleet for them. I'll get those guys over there to do that. Battle lost in... Ah, there. Is it me or does the map do this weird thing if you move it, like, from side to side? It looks like it's... It's, it's in... It, yeah, it's on a sphere, but it's in space. It's... Yeah, it's weird. It's kind of neat. It's kind of neat. Hmm. Let's see what's happening over here. I think we, uh, I think perhaps these battle fleets cost too many um, fleet limit points to sustain. So let's see what we can do about grabbing some more land here. There we go, grab the nice, lovely shipyard planet. And would you look at that, production has resumed. See your fleet there. Yeah, that I think is a, is a tad strong. Yeah, they're taking a lot of, uh, what's it called? Attrition. Yeah, attrition right now.
Well, that's all right. I'm siphoning off your resources from from the other flank. That of attrition is actually it's it's pretty large compared to uh, compared to what you'd expect it to be. I'm surprised by that. Gotta say. Yeah, no. Let's see what I can do with my uh, my one ship though. Just siphon. Siphon cash right from you. So what you're doing? You're trying to build your little defensive line right around here. Hmm. Could have really used those sh siege ships, though. You're gonna chase me? Maybe. Maybe. I think you got some nutrition. Uh, nutrition, right? Yeah, your ships are half damaged. Oh, I see how it is. What are you gonna do when I just flee from all of that? You can't catch it too. I mean, now I'm a, I should be in my own zone. Oh, yeah, bud. You're gonna try to come at my planets now? Is yeah, there? I think it's fine. At least. Go for it. See how it goes. See how you suffer from that uh, that attrition. Oh yeah. This sucks. <laughs> yeah, that's it's it's heavy, eh? Yeah, and you can take the shipyard, that's, uh, that's nothing. Huh. It looks like invasion fleets only take one 
um, a point. The other things cost take a take a lot more. How have you upgraded your defense? Uh, the ground troops. I thought. Oh, pretty great. Pretty great. You should try it. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? We're gonna form the DMZ here. Is this just gonna be a standoff? It's like, oh no, you come at me first. Yeah, if I fight on your part, I do. If I fight on my part, you do. It's what if I just go to your ground and just siphon those resources and come back? Oh, oh, that's right. You got a you got a speed bonus. Ah. Oh, I see. It doesn't have to be two of your grounds going to each other. You just have to be approaching one of your locations. Oh, I'm gonna turn this bus right around. There you go. Busy doing something, but we uh, we need to tat we need the team team speak channel. We need it. Sure, I'll get it. Thanks. There. Oh, nice! You actually capped off the rest of the stuff there. That's that is really neat. That is really neat. I didn't think it was worth the time. Yeah, that is quite a big fight, but I think I'm gonna go down here. Oh, would you look at that, the little combat markers popping up. Is it me or does the battle station get two hits, or, you know, two attacks per round? Yeah, it's pretty far. Yeah, no, that's gonna be a loss for me. Yeah, no. Hmm? If you got three shipyards, I don't think you can get it back. <laughs> oh, you had three? Oh, you had three? Ah, I see what you mean. You had the one on the other side too. Ah. I think the main thing was that I didn't see the value in keeping the um, the the neutral planets, or the the ones that didn't produce anything capped. So I just ignored them. But then again, uh, they do contribute to that uh, fleet summary cap. Right. Right. And you can upgrade them to a better station. Mm hmm. Hmm. I was gonna send the uh, the siege fleets around the back and just blow them up because they 
seems like the smaller plants. I'd, I'd imagine that they only have like one of the little town graphics, so they won't take so long. But I think that's GG because I have nothing else. I have not. How about my fleets are so low? Are they? Did they get out with like barely anything? Yeah. I just barely get out of them fight because of um, the attrition. Oh, uh, right, because you had to siege the planet. Uh, wow, those are some really highly leveled fleets, though. That's really nice. Okay. Yes. So, that's that. Uh, I don't think we have enough time for another multiplayer match, so I think we'll just call it a day for uh, for the preview for Spacecom, Tactical Space Command. So, uh, once again, folks, yeah, be sure to like and subscribe for further content similar to this one. Bye-bye for now.